What is up there, YouTube? This is J Man Time, and today I have a video on one of the rarest, almost forgotten submarine projects from the late 19th century, the late 19th century period of American submarine development. And this submarine here is not just an American submarine, it is also considered the first Irish submarine, as its inventor was an Irish American. And that submarine is the almost forgotten Finian Ram, also known as the Howland Boat Number no. Howland Submarine Number no. Two, an Irish American submarine project from the 1880s, 1881 to be exact. The Finian Ram was an experimental midget submarine that was developed by, by John Philip Howland, an Irish American submariner and inventor from the in the 1800s. He was well known for developing the first submarines to serve both in the United States Navy and also the British Royal Navy. And the Finian Ram was his second successful prototype submarine developed between the years of 1879 and 1881. Now, this submarine was actually developed in part with a Irish rebellion or Irish Republican organization or an Irish insurgent organization known as the Finian Brotherhood. The Finian Brotherhood was an Irish rebellious slash insurgent group operating in the, the then British occupied state of Ireland or region of Ireland or we now know as the Republic of Ireland today. At the time, the Brotherhood was an organization that was funding a number of insurgencies in Ireland to free Ireland from British occupation. In the 1870s, they went to John Philip Howland and decided to fund one of his submarine projects known as the Howland Boat No. 2. Back in 1875, Howland had developed his first experimental submarine known as the Howland Boat No. 1. Later in 1879, the Irish Republican Brotherhood or the Finian Brotherhood approached Howland and decided to fund his second submarine project known as the Howland Boat No. 2. This prototype was completed in the year of 1881 and was actually constructed by the American Del Meter Iron Company based in New York City. In total, the Irish Finian Brotherhood had given Howland some $200,000 at that time in 1879 money. And he used that money to build two submarines, actually, the Howland Boat No. 2 and the Howland Boat No. 3. Now, this experimental submarine, midget submarine, had a displacement of 19 tons. Its main armament was one 229mm compressed air pneumatic air cannon that was mounted in the bow section of the submarine. And this gun could actually fire either a 100-pound or 120-pound, six-foot-long, dynamite-filled, air-compressed, launched bullet, essentially, or artillery shell. This is basically an artillery round that was launched by a large air cannon that was mounted in the submarine's bow section. The pneumatic gun itself was 11 feet long and was powered by a 400 PSI compressed air system. And depending on the sources, it could fire a projectile either 300 yards. Other sources state that it could fire a projectile up to 1.6 kilometers or one mile in total. The submarine was not armed with torpedoes like the traditional submarines of the day or even submarines that existed by the era of World War I, let's say 1914. No, this submarine fired a compressed air cannon as its main weapon system. The submarine was also powered by an early advanced engine known as the Brighton Piston Engine. And this was a early form of gasoline slash petrol engine that was developed originally back in the 1870s. So Howland took the concept of the Brighton engine and decided to make one for the Finian Ram, making the Finian Ram the first American submarine to be powered by an early form of a gasoline slash petrol engine. It was actually powered by a mixture of oil and kerosene, which produced a petrol-like substance that powered this engine. The engine powered a, a single screw propeller and the submarine overall had a maximum speed of 9 knots, or 16.6 kilometers per hour surfaced, or 8 knots submerged. Its combat range is unknown, but it had a crew of 1 to 3 maximum. Now, this submarine also had a maximum diving depth of just 59 feet. And this submarine was actually tested by Howland between the years of 1881 and 1883. Now, the Finian Brotherhood was excited for the submarine as they wanted to use it to sink British merchant shipping operating between the United States and Britain and Britain and Canada, and also shipping coming from as far away as the British colonies in India, hoping that this would force the British to eventually negotiate with the, with the Finian Brotherhood and other Irish resistance organizations to handing Ireland over to the Irish resistance forces in British-occupied Ireland. 
Now, in the year of 1883, there was actually a dispute between John P. Howland and the Brotherhood over funding. They had funded the Howland Boat Number no. 2 or Finian Ram project, but they also wanted him to build more submarines. But it seems that they wanted him to do more than what he actually did. He only built a single prototype, but also built a second submarine, the Howland Boat No. 3. As a result of this dispute between the Finian Brotherhood and Howland, in November of 1883, the Finian Brotherhood decided to steal both the Finian Ram and Howland's other experimental submarine, the Howland No. 3 prototype submarine. These submarines were stolen and transferred to the East River in New Haven, Connecticut, where the Brotherhood attempted to test the submarines themselves. And during these tests, the Howland Boat No. 3, or the Howland Experimental Submarine No. 3, sank in an accident, although no one was killed in this accident. As a result, the Brotherhood realized they did not know how to operate the Howland submarines, so they decided to abandon the Finian Ram submarine in the smaller Mill River area, also in the New Haven, Connecticut region, where it sat for many years. Howland himself never attempted to revive the project, nor did he attempt to retrieve the submarine, so the submarine was pretty much left abandoned and was later found by random civilians in the area. It changed hands multiple times, being sold to a variety of owners, both in Connecticut and other states, but ultimately, in the year of 1927, the Finian Ram was later purchased by the Patterson Museum in New Jersey in the city of New Jersey, where it still sits to this day on display inside the museum, along with the first original prototype of the Howland Submarine, also known as the Howland Submarine No. 1 from 1875-1878. The Finian Ram goes down in history as one of the most advanced submarine projects to be developed in the United States in the 1880s. It was the first submarine to be powered by an early form of a petrol slash gasoline slash kerosene engine, whereas most submarines before that were either crank powered or paddle powered or human-powered submarines. It is stated that the Finian Ram was actually inspired by an American Civil War submarine known as the USS Intelligent Whale. The Intelligent Whale was an experimental submarine designed for the Union Navy in between 1863 and 1864. Its physical appearance was actually based on the Whitehead torpedoes designed by Robert Whitehead, the creator of the modern self-propelled torpedo in the 1860s, 1866, so the design of the ram was actually based on an early form of a self-propelled torpedo. The most interesting fact about the ram is, again, it's its main weapon system. It was fitted with a 229mm 9-inch compressed air pneumatic gun, which back in the late 19th century was actually used in a number of conflicts. During the Spanish-American War in 1898, the U.S. Navy and the U.S. military actually used pneumatic guns against the Spanish forces during the fighting in Cuba in 1898. So seeing a pneumatic gun being used on a submarine was pretty strange for this time period. And the fact that this gun actually fired a large 100 to 120 millimeter compressed air projectile between 300 yards and a mile. This was basically like a submarine equivalent of like a torpedo boat or a destroyer in terms of its firepower and weapons capability. Now, after the Finian Ram debacle, John P. Howland would go on to develop, in 1895, he developed the USS Plunger, which was another early submarine powered by a self-propelled engine. Later on, in 1900, he developed the USS Howland 1, which became the first submarine to serve in the U.S. Navy. And that same year, he also sold one of his prototypes to the British Royal Navy, another Howland 1-type submarine, which would become the first British submarine. So, Howland went on to have a successful career after the testing or development of the Finian Ram. And the Finian Ram, again, still survives today at the Patterson Museum in New Jersey, along with the original Howland 1 prototype submarine from 1875-1878. So what do you all think of this? One of the rarest midget submarine projects developed in the early 1880s, and a submarine that was meant to be used by Irish rebels against the occupying British forces in Ireland. The Finian Ram from 1881-1883, one of the first self-propelled submarines, and one of the strangest submarines in terms of its main armament being a 229 millimeter pneumatic compressed air pneumatic gun. What do you all think of this? Please tell me in the comment section below. And until next time, this was J Man Time signing off.